just want to say thanks to the Lord for restoring my voice. I haven't been able to sing any harmony, any high parts for about three months, but God has given me back my voice, and I want to sing this song to Him tonight. I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your love. Though the seasons come quickly, you have always been enough. Though the night may get darker, though the morning seems long, you have always been faithful to remind me of your love.
good to you. Give him a shout tonight. Hallelujah. Thanks. Every day gets sweeter. Every day gets better. Every day gets sweeter. Every day gets better. Every day gets sweeter. Every day gets better. Every day. Every day gets sweeter. Every day gets better. Every day gets sweeter. Every day gets better. Every day. Every day gets sweeter. Every day gets better. Every day.
shout Jesus. Jesus. I said somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. 
I'm not talking about a shout to get his attention. I'm talking about understanding the power in the name and that, that, that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. So at that name, demons tremble. So when I shout Jesus, devils have to flee because of the authority in the name. So if you understand that authority, use it one time and shout Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, y'all scared the hell out of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whew. Well. Yeah. Yea, saith the Lord, I have invested all my power and all my authority in that name. That name, Jesus, has touched more lives upon this earth than any other one thing. And it is the name of Jesus that causes darkness to flee. It is the name of Jesus that causes the enemy to flee. And it's the name of Jesus that brings peace and brings joy and brings contentment in the hearts and lives of my people. So as you worship me and praise me, be ready to receive the peace, the joy, and the contentment that I will speak into your life. And yea, victory is in that name, in the name that is above every name. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of beings in heaven, beings in the earth, and beings under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So praise me and worship me, and you shall see my name has power. My name brings victory unto you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and see Jesus from the mountain. Jesus in the streets. See Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the Lord. Y'all remember what I said last Sunday night? Now y'all just remember we got visitors in the house. <laughs> they just as crazy as us. So I'm gonna read a scripture and I'm gonna see if y'all still got it. 
The Psalms 47, verse 1 says, Oh, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Your clap will confuse the enemy. It's noise to the enemy. He don't understand why they clapping when I'm trying to persecute them. Why they clapping when I'm trying to bring sickness on them. When I'm trying to keep them down. Why they clapping? Y'all didn't let me finish. And then he said, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, God's a good God, is he not? And then, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. On the count of three. I'm telling you, I'm getting y'all ready. You, this is the rapture drill. One, two, three. Jump. Hey, you see, eventually some of us is going to catch. But, but Psalms 150 said, praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary for his mighty, in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Now, I'm going to give you one more opportunity. Has he been good to you? I mean, has he really been good to you? Has he ever brought you out of anything? Has he ever made a way when there seemed to be no way? Has he ever took the doctor's report and turned it around? Has he ever took your bank account and turned that thing around? Has he ever turned your family around, your marriage around, your job around? Well, if he's done that, come on and praise him for his mighty acts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now y'all y'all be careful. Verse 3 said, Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and the flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with crashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Well, where's my musicians? Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all want to praise him just a little bit? The Bible said y'all can do it too. Y'all, y'all just give him a little something. I feel a little something. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all, your feet get a little too heavy. He said, praise him with the dance. Now, I know some of y'all went to work sore last week. But I'm going to tell you when, you, when you understand who he is and he gets in your feet just a little bit, some of y'all just need to get out and move. You say, why? Because, because you stepping out and getting a little silly shows the devil you really don't care what him or nobody else thinks. 
All you care about is worshiping God because he alone is worthy of my praise. Am I right? I mean, can I get a little help in this Baptist church this morning? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing that again. And if you won't move, then I suggest you move. You say, well, I can't dance. This ain't choreographed. We're not judging you. This ain't dancing with the stars. This is dancing before the king. And it don't matter just as long as you move. Y'all got that? All right, come on. We're going to do it again. Sing, I got to pray. For some of you younger folk, it's all right. The Holy Ghost party, cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party, cause the Holy Ghost party don't stop. You hear me say?
<laughs> well, you can sit down if you want to. You can stand up if you want to. Don't scare me. Hallelujah. <laughs>